were asked to understand more about the visibility rules, let us first identify the meaning of divisible. When is a number divisible to another number? It is when the bigger number divided to a smaller number and you get a remainder of zero, it is said to be that the bigger number is divisible by the smaller number. Again, if you divide the bigger number into a smaller number and then there is no remainder, that number is divisible by the smaller number. Here is an example. 63 divided by 3. 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 minus 6 is 0. Bring down 3. Then divide 3 by 3. The answer is 1. 1 times 3 is 3. 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. So there is no remainder when you divide 63 by 3. That means the number 63 is divisible by the smaller number 3. Now try to look at this example. If I divide 63 by 5, 6 divided by 5, we have 1. 1 times 5 is 5. Subtract it, we'll get 1, bring down 3. We have 13 divided by 5 is 2. 2 times 5 is 10. 13 minus 10 is equal to 3. Then, there is a remainder of 3. So, that means 63 is not divisible by 5 because there is a remainder of 3. can easily determine if the number is divisible by the smaller number without the use of division process. You can use divisibility rules. Let us start the divisibility rule by 2. A number is divisible by 2 if the digit at the 1's place is an even number. And what are the different even numbers? We have 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. Here are the examples of numbers that are divisible by 2. 420, 752, 314, 926, and 1048. They are all examples of numbers divisible by 2 because all the ones digit of the following numbers end with an even number. Is 6,783 divisible by 2? Try to check the number. Look at the ones digit of the number given. 3. 3 is not an even number. So, is 6,783 divisible by 2? The answer is no. What about this number? Is 506 divisible by 2? Look at the ones digit. It is 6 and 6 is an even number. Therefore, we say that 506 is divisible by 2. And the answer is yes. Let's go to divisibility rule by 3. When is a number divisible by 3? If the sum of the digits of a number is a multiple of 3, how are we going to do it? Example, 4,302. You are going to find the sum of the digits of this number. 
by adding 4 plus 3 plus 0 plus 2. The sum of these numbers is equal to 9. And then identify if the digit 9 is one of the multiples of 3. Look at the multiples of 3. Can you find 9 as a multiple of 3? Yes. Therefore, 4,302 is divisible by 3. Now, let's have another example. Is 645 divisible by 3? Let's find out the sum of the digits 645. 6 plus 4 plus 5 is equal to 15. You are right. And check if the sum is one of the multiples of 3. 15 is one of the multiples of 3. Therefore, 645 is divisible by 3. What about 143? Is 143 divisible by 3? Let's check the sum of these numbers. We have 1 plus 4 plus 3. We get the sum of 8. Check if 8 is a multiple of 3. And if you can see, 8 is not a multiple of 3. Therefore, we can say that 143 is not divisible by 3. Let's move on to the divisibility rule by 4. When is a number divisible by 4? If the last two digits is a multiple of 4. Let's recall what are the multiples of 4. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, 44, 48, 52, 56, 60, and so on and so forth. Now, try to look at the following numbers. 128, check the last two digits of this number, it's 28. 28 is a multiple of 4. Therefore, it's an example of number divisible by 4. How about 960? The last two digits of 960 is 60. And 60 is a multiple of 4. Therefore, it's also divisible by 4. 532. The last two digit number is 32. We say that all these numbers are example of numbers divisible by 4. Let's test yourself. Is 516 divisible by 4? Is it a yes or a no? Yes, the answer is correct. Yes, it is divisible by 4 because the last two digits, 16, is a multiple of 4. What about this one? Is 2021 divisible by 4? The answer is no, because the last two digits is 21, and 21 is not a multiple of 4. Let's try the last one. Is 75,104 divisible by 4? The answer is yes, because if you see the last Digit or the last two digit of that number is 0, 4, and 4 is a multiple of 4. Therefore, that number is divisible by 4. Let's move on to the divisibility rule by 5. To find out if the number is divisible by 5, look at the digit in the ones place. The ones digit must be 0 or 5. These are the examples of numbers divisible by 5. 245, 905, 715, 6480, 200, and 10,500. They all end with 0 and 5. 
And the last divisibility rule that we are going to discuss is the divisibility rule by 10. It's easy to determine the number if it's divisible by 10 if the last digit of the number ends with 0. These numbers are divisible by 10. 240, 500, 1010, 480, 200, and 330. I'm sure you can easily determine a number divisible by 10 if it is ending with 0. Time to do your checking! Let's test yourself if you really understand the lesson that we have taken up for this asynchronous video. Get ready with your notebook. All you have to do is to identify if the first number is divisible by the second number. You're just going to write the answer yes or no in your notebook. Let's try number 1. Is the first number 32 divisible by 2? Is it a yes or a no? I'll give you 5 seconds. Okay, the answer is yes. Number 2, 48, is that divisible by 3? Yes or no? The correct answer is yes. When you add the digit 4 and 8, it has a sum of 12. And 12 is a multiple of 3. Therefore, it is divisible by 3. Is 165 divisible by 10? Yes, you are correct. The correct answer is no. Because the number ends with 5 and it's not divisible by 10. Number 4. 55. Is that divisible by 3? Is it a yes or a no? The correct answer is no. When you add the digits 5 plus 5, it will give us the sum of 10. And 10 is not a multiple of 3. Therefore, it's not divisible by 3. Let's have number 5. Is 136 divisible by 5? You got it right. The answer is no. Because the number ends with 6 and it's not divisible by 5. It must end with 0 or 5 to make it divisible by 5. What about number 6? Is 504 divisible by 3? The correct answer is yes. Because when you add this 3-digit number, we have a sum of 9 and that makes us divisible by 3. 7. 312 divisible by 4? The answer is yes, because the last two digits of 312 is 12, and it is a multiple of 4. Therefore, it's divisible by 4. Number 8. Is 291 divisible by 2? The correct answer is no, because a number is divisible by 2, if it ends with an even number. And 291, the ending number is 1. It is an odd number. Therefore, it is not divisible by 2. Number 9. Is 220 divisible by 5? The correct answer is yes, because it ends with 0. And for the last number, 656. Is that divisible by 4? The correct answer is yes, 
because the last two digit of 656 is 56 and it is a multiple of 4, therefore it is divisible by 4.